1987, I started to, we started to look at going around to go to visit Europe, European uh, cities, uh, countries, uh, especially after thinking to spread one of our project called the revival of the Sunnah, the prophetical Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, which is fasting the six days of Shawwal, uh, Arafah day, and uh, uh, Aqiqah, and the Kafara, and the three white days in the month, and uh, what Arafah day, and others as well, Ashura as well. And today's fund, uh, and actually, we're trying to commemorate or to uh, bring up to the top is the name of uh, the sixth caliph, uh, Hadrat Omar ibn Abd Aziz, who actually was collecting all the Sunnah and the Hadith of Prophet. And uh, we have designed this big leaflet, and actually about uh, A0, so, uh, quite big, 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 which is not A4, not A3, it is more than that. And uh, quite big, yeah. Uh, so on on my travel to Paris to attend the Islamic conference in Paris in December, I had a dream, and in this dream I saw that I had a broken leg entering France. I didn't give any damn to this dream because I did not know. I said, okay, fine, let us see what's happening. By the time we landed in Paris, uh, and then uh, we, I went to the officer. Uh, after the immigration of collecting uh, my luggage there was the two boxes of the translated French Arabic uh, leaflets and he decided not to give me the two boxes because he does not want it to come to Paris this is how the French even in 1987 were actually very rigid against Islam and not very entertaining Islam and Muslims at that time. And I uh, realized that this was the explanation of my dream the night before. I went to the conference with no uh, uh, leaflet, with nothing to distribute to the people. And they stayed in the top floor, uh, on the floor, because the conference nearly finished and most of these are gone. And I was there for a day or two before coming back uh, to UK again. I attended another conference to try to spread the message of Islamic relief in, in, in Munich, may I mention, uh, or in the summer uh, of the, I think, 1988. Uh, was, uh, same, same leaflet, but actually in different languages, especially German language. Uh, and I started to distribute leaflets and uh, introduce the organization to them. And this is where, for the first time, I met with um, uh, this uh, journalist. His name is Asata, very well known, underground journalist. journalist. And he was, he was telling me when we met recently that I could not realize that with raising penny and two pennies, you will have, we will have built an organization raising a few hundred million uh, pounds. This is how we started to look outside the box, the box of UK, we do it in Ramadan and every time. The box outside UK, when you look at Europe as a part of the big uh, uh, continent that you are living there, to start to spread your message there and communicate with the local community in different parts of Europe. Alhamdulillah, we went from UK to Europe in 1987 and 1988.